Um, because I always like to hear the story behind. Was it the piece pieces. about uh, my place of rage? I think. Yes. I think it was that one. That's the piece that you shared with us over yeah. dinner, and that was most beautiful, really. And, well, and I said to you, I said, Valerie, you got to do this piece when you come on. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> okay. Well, my place of rage is um, actually part of a play that I wrote in 1992 okay. called Revelations, mm -hmm. and it's basically to do with discrimination and um, indifference of all kinds, and basically how people feel. I was just trying to look inward and look at mm -hmm. frustration um, and try and encapsulate that onto paper. You were, you felt very, at this time when you started writing in yeah. school, you felt very excluded. Well, um, I did a lot of writing at university and um, what I found was when I got there that you could count the amount of black people and Asian people on one hand. Mm. Um, so I was definitely a minority within a majority. What kind of atmosphere? I mean, I can imagine, but tell us, what kind of atmosphere? Um, there was a sense of fear and mistrust, and I guess it was mutual in a lot of respects, because they were going on stereotypes, what they'd seen in the media, in the newspaper, um, and they didn't know how to treat me, how to respond or to react to me, and that made me feel a little bit strange as well, because I never knew what to expect of people. They, were, they didn't know how to treat you as a human being? Really. No, no. No, in the simplest things, they, there was a lot of... You were the only black student there on the whole campus? Not the only black student on the campus, but there were very, very few of us. I was the only black person on my course oh. within, within the university, yeah. Mm. And that's a heck of a feeling. Yeah, you mm. do feel very isolated and alone. Okay. Yes, so you do. I'm glad you said that, see, because that sets the background and the that's tone right. for, what, for yeah. the poem that you're going to say. So it's called My Place of Rage. You see, inside, in here, I have this secret place. A place where I do not console or comfort myself, mm -hmm. but rebel and reflect, turn over and cry. A place of rage and frustration, in need of my own heroes and sheroes, as the people I have looked to have rejected me. In my place of rage, the savage fights back. In my place of rage, I ascend every wall and foundation. Not like the past, chipping relentlessly at marble barricades with toothpick dreams and identities. I stand tall looking down at the mess you wallow in, feeling no pity, feeling no sympathy. What your ignorance does not eat, then your prejudice does. What your prejudice does not eat, then your hatred does. In my place of rage, there is a hollow where circumstance has not got the better of me. In my place of rage, this is a place to fight and not to hide in. In this place, my place, our place of rage. Mm. 